What's up everybody, welcome back to Toge Lab. Today we're going to be installing the 370Z brakes in the rear of our S13. First we're going to remove the wheels. If you're interested in installing the 370Z Acubono front brakes on your S13, you can find that video on our channel. Similar to the front, we are going to remove the brake lines and calipers. With the caliper removed, disengage your e-brake and remove the rear rotor. Now for the 370Z rear brakes, we did need to notch the actual caliper, you can see here. We cut away some material. This is to make sure there's enough clearance for the adapter as well as the knuckle. In order to fit the massive 370Z brake rotors in the rear, we need to cut away the 300ZX rear brake dust shield. We used an angle grinder to cut slits on the lip and folded them upwards and grinded them off. With the grinding done, we can install the adapter bracket. This goes behind the knuckle. With the adapter bracket loosely installed, we can move on to loosely install the caliper. Here you can see the notch where we made onto the caliper near the bottom ear. This is necessary to be able to install the adapter and caliper to the knuckle of the car. Here's the angle from the back. You can see the adapter and the caliper here. Uh, it's a little difficult to see the bolt holding the top ear of the caliper on here, but it's right between the bleeder and the silver bolt up top. These shots were taken after we powder coated the brakes as well as tested them out on the track. Just remember to bleed your brakes and thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next one.